everybody, it's me, Nikki. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today, I've got another book haul for you. Uh, I sort of went crazy again. Uh, but this is the last one for a while, I think. Uh, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Let me just get them. Oh, I'll show you this one. This is uh, These Feathered Flames by Alexandria Overy. Uh, can't remember what edition this is but the cover not the cover the inside pages are great uh i think oh it's got this is the bookish box edition i think it's really pretty i'd wanted to read this anyway so um there are twin heirs whose fates are decided when they're born or at a young age um, one remains at court and the other is taken away to train with her aunt. Um, there's magic. Um, and then it kind of looks like the sisters are, there's, there was a lot of books uh, where sisters were fighting against each other, whether they wanted to or not. Um, yeah, so that sounds interesting. I think it's LGBTQIA as well. I'm not sure. I just think, I don't know why I thought that. I think it was on a tag once, but I'm not 100% sure. So I've got An Arrow to the Moon by Emily XR Pan. This is the oh gosh. Fairy Loot. And it is a Romeo and Juliet reinterpretation filled with Romance, obviously, magic, and Chinese mythology. Um, this is about Hunter and Luna. Oh, I also know what the Chinese mythology is. Um, and how they navigate the feud between their families. And uncover hidden secrets. There's always hidden secrets. So, yeah. Hunter is, has a perfect aim with a bow and arrow. And Luna uh, dreads the future. Her, her parents' expectations are stifling her. So, And it looks modern day because there's a school and stuff like that. So, yeah. I am interested... I don't know if I've even heard anybody talk about this, so, but I do love Chinese mythology. I need to know more about it. I think uh, I've only got the one book, maybe a couple others. The only one I really know is Wukong, the Monkey King, and he is sort of not, I mean, he is Chinese, but I don't know if he was, um around before the journey to the west like if a monkey type was around so i'd like to learn more about that but yes and look how pretty it is and i'm i was telling my mom i'm afraid to like open it because i'll just ruin the spine it's so gorgeous next we have uh twin crowns by katherine weber and Catherine Doyle. I did not know this was a two authors, even though I saw both their names there. Uh, One Throne, Two Princesses. It's about uh, Rose and Wren. And Rose is tr the heir to the throne, and she's trained to fear witches. And Wren is the secret, and she plot the secret sister, and she plots to obs usurp the princess in order to protect the witches. Uh, so yeah, 
Let me see which edition. This is also a fairy loot. Fairy loot has a mate. I think I said this last time. Fairy loot and Illumicrate have amazing covers. And look at that. It's again. I'm afraid to read it because it's a paperback and I don't want to ruin the spine. And it feels good, like soft, but not velvety. I don't know how to explain it. Then we have Blood Scion by Deborah Fall A. Fall A. I believe this is the Fairy Loot edition as well. Um, gorgeous. It is about Sloan. Uh, she's a descendant of the ancient Orisha gods. Excuse me. But under the brutal rule of the guy in charge, her identity uh, is death. She's conscripted, conscripted into the army at 15. She has to overcome the challenges and conceal her power. Um... Oh no, it's not a guy, it's a group. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. And then she could destroy her enemies. And she might become the very monster she abhors. So this is uh, African mythology, which again, I would love to know more about. There's a sequel to this out. I've seen people show off these books but never talk about them, so I'm hoping that when I get to them, I will talk about them. Next, we have an Illumicrate exclusive edition of Lies We Sing to the Sea by Sarah Underwood. Look at that cover. And look at the pages. Ugh. On the back. Um, and this is about Leto. Leto? My Leto? The uh, Apollo and Artemis' Leto? Uh, it's Cursed Kingdom of Ithaca. Uh, each summer, I think, the eventual Poseidon. Of course, Ithaca. Poseidon hates Odysseus. Uh, Leto. No, it's not my Leto. Um, Leto has a chance to break the curse, uh, but a prince also seeks to free his kingdom from the curse. So there's a little love triangle, which is okay with me. Um, right now it's okay. We'll see how it goes. So, I'm a little more forgiving of, um, and look at the inside, of the love triangles in Greek mythology, usually because somebody ends up dead, quite frankly. <laughs> so I'm sure somebody will end up dead. It wouldn't be a true Greek retelling if somebody didn't end up dead. <sighs> Alright, next is A Taste of Golden Iron by Alexandra Rowland. I can't remember off the top of my head which edition this is. This is the Bookish Box edition. Um, this is an LGBTQIA book about Kadu, a shy prince. Um, who is the sis brother to the queen and he has an appointed bodyguard Evemer Evemer not sure how to say that um, there's some magic myth runs side by side with history counterfeiting is heresy um uh, they discover they discover a conspiracy that could cripple the kingdom's financial standing. Interesting. So it's a romance with finances. There's that. Yeah. 
And then those are just the end pages. I liked um, their other book. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Uh, A Conspiracy of Truths. Um, I keep meaning to buy the... It's not a sequel. More like a... The next in a story. So, yeah. But, so, but I'm excited for this. I'm excited for all of them. I don't know why I say that. Um, I have The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. Um, I've heard a couple people talk about this. They just say it's really good. So that's good. Uh, and this is Arabic fantasy, I believe. Middle Eastern fantasy. What's the front look like? I didn't even see that. The front is pretty. It's showing up blue uh, on screen, but it is it is purple. Um, and this is about Luli uh, is a midnight merchant uh, who helps uh, hunts and sells illegal illegal magic with her gin bodyguard. Uh, she saves the life of a cowardly prince. There's a sultan oh, who blackmails her into finding an ancient lamp. So it's like Aladdin, but backwards. Uh, she goes with the sultan's oldest son to find the artifact. They have to survive ghouls. Uh, a jinn queen. Ooh, I've never, I've never seen the jinn queen before. Um... Everything is not what it seems, basically. I believe this is... Yes, it's a trilogy. I like that. That that would be a cool little pendant to have. So yeah, it's like Aladdin, but sort of mixed around. Um, I'm trying to think of the original Aladdin. The original Aladdin was like a Chinese, was Chinese as well, I think, because it came across the Silk Road. That's a different uh, story. <laughs> um, I also have uh, Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. That does say Violet, right? I always want to add an N. Violent. I love those. That ombre effect. There's the front page. Ooh, that's nice. This is also fairy loot, yes. And that is the back page. Um, Violet is a prophet and a liar. Uh, influencing court with her not always true divinations. Prince, there's a Prince Cyrus, um, and then she awakens a dreaded curse that will either end in damnation or salvation, all depending on the prince's choice of a future bride. Interesting. Um, but yeah, and then they fall in love. A morally gray witch, a cursed prince, and a prophecy that ignites their fate. And it's got little. I love these things. More books should have them. Little built-in bookmarks. Oh. And then the last two came in fairy loot bags. So I'm going to assume they're fairy loot. What do you do with the... F I don't I get the Fairy Loot subscription box, so what do you do with the bags? Just keep them, I guess. This one is This Vicious Grace by Emily Thede. I, do, I don't have enough yellow books. Like, more books should be made yellow. And I don't know... Oh, that shows up better on camera than it does in real life. The two yellows. You can... From what... I can't hardly see that. Um, three weddings, three funerals, one more chance to save them all. 
That's fun. There's the front. Let's see. Ooh, it's nice. But yeah, they should make more. Uh, that's why I really like the, um, like, even the owl crate, which uh, which mostly just changes the cover. It just introduces more colors into books, and I think that's fun. And that's the back. I think there should be more colors. That's all I'm saying. Um. Uh, Elisa has a gift from the gods. It is supposed to magnify a partner's magic. Uh, except it looks like it kills every suitor she touches, so... Sucks. Um, uh, weeks left till a swarm of demons devours everything. She's running out of time to find a partner and stop the invasion. Um... And then they're like, hey, let's kill her. And she's like, Ooh, no thanks. Um, she hires Dante uh, to become her personal bodyguard. Uh, and then uh, stuff happens. I assume they fall in love. Apparently there's banter, romance, and tension. We shall see. I judge all banter, I think I've said this before as well, on... Um, Shakespeare, Beatrice, and Benedict from Much Ado About Nothing, that is top tier banter, or any like um, old Hollywood romance who had top tier banter, that's what I base it on. Okay, uh, I'll just put those there for now, until I find just more stuff to deal with, and then the final one, let's see if I can get it out of there. Oh, the darkening. I was looking at this. Shiny cover. Lovely. I think those are feathers. Um, it's about a revolution. Oh, a revolutionary. Excuse me. A prince. Uh, and together they will face the storm or be swept away. Ooh, the, the feathers right here are popped out compared to the there's the cover, the end page. Nice. Ugh. And then the other end page. And this is by Sonia Mara. Uh, it's, I got a, there's a Prince Dalka, was born for one purpose, to protect his home. And Vesper Vale is the daughter of failed revolutionaries, who's on the run. Um, and then they catch up to her, and she's got experimental magic. She infiltrates the prince's elite squad, cheat her way into his cold heart, and then there's more, and then they fall in love. Presumably. <laughs> That's what happens in a lot of those stories. But I'm excited to try it. So, yeah, that was my book haul. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a lovely day. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.